Hi, I'm Casey Gray, five-time Kingslayer of the Year nominee, and this is D&D Expertise, Episode 8. Taverns are a classic in D&D games, and are a great place for characters to enter into the world. You've got dark corners for shady quest givers, an assortment of patrons to roleplay with, and more alcohol than the party could possibly handle. It's a good place to start. If any of the party members haven't met yet, then this is the place to find traveling companions, and it's familiar enough that a player new to the game can still get a picture of the place. Rumors fly all over the room, exchanged, overheard, or bought with coin. Any information the Game Master wants to pass on to the party can be found within these walls. One of the locals saw an enormous silhouette soaring through the clouds. A pack of gnolls was seen crossing the Westford Bridge, and a local noble is offering a substantial bounty to anyone who's able to dismantle the barricade that bandits have set up to tax passing traders. People also say there's a mysterious figure in a red cloak who's only seen by moonlight, though nobody can say who it was that actually saw them and started the story. Right there, you've laid out enough plot hook to just sit back and see which line gets a bite. The players are going to find one of those especially intriguing, and then all you need to do is flesh out that content to create a full adventure they've already invested their interest in. Starting at the tavern essentially creates a launch pad for your narrative, and any NPC can find their way into the party's good graces by buying them a drink. If they're friendly and genuine, then you've got a perfect plot anchor for them to establish a relationship with. Their new friend can also deliver follow-up information on whichever plot hook they'd like to know more about. Knolls. I don't know if you've heard, but they're nasty raiders. I've gone up against them a couple of times. Horrible things that are half demon, half hyena. They smell like death, and you'll know they've been the ones to raid a place if all of the corpses are stripped to the bone. So, guess what the players are about to stumble across. 